All right, I got a little bit of coins um, here. Um, I was expecting to get a little bit more, but um, it was just kind of circumstance this time. Um, I just didn't have much time, and um, the, one of the banks I went to had to verify every single nickel roll because I was turning in a box, and, I, and then I just ended up saying um, I might come back another day because it was just taking too long, and I couldn't exchange all the rest of the coins they had, so... I'm going to see if I can get back there soon um, and return the rest of these. I also have the rest of the nickel box because I just wasn't able to return all of it. So, honestly, kind of just circumstance. Um, so a lot of stuff. Um, also, you know, wanted to play. The first bank I went to didn't couldn't take the nickel box because they had too much coin. Um, so, really just circumstance. But I did get uh, probably around $5 in pennies. Um, a little bit of dimes, some nickels, and some quarters. Uh, they are circulated, as you can see. Um, this one I, is quite a bit short. It's definitely a few pennies short, like five or six. This one, I was looking at it when I uh, put it down. I had to tape it because I think there's a bigger coin in there. It ripped, and I thought I saw a larger coin. I'm probably, I'm going to guess it's a two-cent euro. But I'm going to start on the quarters, and I'll bring you in on my first find I get. Alright guys, I'm on the very first roll of quarters, and do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? I think we might have a silver. Um, I haven't found a silver quarter in a roll in quite some time. Let's pluck it. Is it? Is it painted? It is silver in 1963! It's really, really beat up. But that is silver. I have not found a silver quarter in a while. That is awesome. That is really neat. Um, it was really dirty, so I thought when I pulled it out, I thought it was a just a really dirty quarter. But I saw that mint mark. That is awesome. That is so cool. Well, we got silver, a <laughs> silver on the board. I'm gonna try to wash it off and see if I can pull something else off of it. But we got silver. Sorry, I don't have my tripod. Well, we'll keep going. Are you freaking kidding me? I just opened the very next roll, and look at this. We have a West Point quarter. Oh my gosh, these quarters have been amazing so far. Um, I, I, the most of these I found are War in the Pacific. Hopefully it's one I don't haven't found before. Well, I have found a River No Turn, but holy cow, quarters are coming in hot. We have a silver and a W in this roll. Let's find some more. Alright, I'm on the second of two rolls of dimes, and I did get a 2009, um, and that's some gunk, and gunk on it. I'll try to wash it off, um, but I don't find very many of those in my area, so that is a good coin. Um, I'll set that to the side, and uh, we'll keep going. Alright, I'm on the third roll of nickels, and I have a few things I want to mention. One, I saw this crazy toned 1981. Look at that. That is crazy. I also pulled out, saw this beautiful 1988D. I pulled one out um, in the um, the last roll. Um, I do also see a 58 here. 1958 Denver. That's a find. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of nice coins in these rolls, for sure. There's a nice 83. Um, and yeah, all of these will be checked against my album, so yeah, we'll keep looking. I had kind of a theory on that toned coin. I saw a lot of nice 80s coins, and I'm thinking that maybe someone took an uncirculated roll of these and dumped them, and this might have been the end coin, because it has some spottiness, like it was an ender, and it got oxidized a little bit. So, maybe that's what happened. But, uh, yeah, just a little theory, we'll keep going. Alright, I miss, almost missed this because of how nice a shape it's in, but I got a beautiful 1952. 
San Francisco. That is really nice. I don't see any steps, but that's a really nice uh, nickel. All right, we will keep on going. All right, I'm on the first roll of pennies, and it's that one that has what I think is a foreign. Oh yeah. Oh, it is a. Uh, this is my. If I if I didn't think it was a euro, this is what I thought it would be. It's a uh, one penny from the UK. These are not. These are awesome to find. Very nice. All right, we will keep going. Right, right under the 74s was was a another foreign 1998 Canadian penny. All right, we'll keep going. All right, sorry for the lighting, but we we're all done with that hunt, and it was a really, 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 really good hunt. Um, lots and lots of finds. Um, starting over here, I did get some of these, some nice uh, nickels. Um, there's a 78, there's an 83, and a couple 88Ds. With a couple dimes that were nice enough that I figure I'd check them against the book. Um, also, to get a 74S that's pretty in pretty good shape. Um, I did get a 2009 Denver District of Columbia. It's probably one of the best ones I've seen. So I'll probably hold on to that. A few nice 2009s. This one's top one's not great, but it's a design I don't find too often. I did get 159. That's the closest I got to a wheat. Um, I got an 09D, which I did clean off. I did get that gunk off mostly. Um, so that's a good find. I love finding those. I don't, very, don't find them very often. Um, I got that one penny from the UK. We got one, I got a Canadian penny from 1998. That crazy toner, which I think might be an, might have been an ender at some point. Um, a really nice 52S and a decent, uh, kind of normal condition 58D. I also did get another Sally Ride Quarter. I only have one, so I'm for sure going to keep this. I've gotten a bunch of the Maya Angelou and a bunch of these, um, uh, other other woman man killers and then of course the two finds of the hunt quarters destroyed the hunt amazing 1963 i couldn't really get whatever is on there off it looks like there's some like bleach or something on there but 63d awesome find and we also can't forget um about the uh west point 2019 river of no return it's in pretty good shape other than the uh but it's in good shape there is a scratch right above liberty but um yeah, it's in really good shape. The rim does have a little gouge on it right there. But, yeah, just my video stopped. So, there you go, the West Point.